3D printing has been about as game-changing for rapid prototyping and manufacturing processes as LeBron James was for Cleveland. printing falls into a category called additive manufacturing, meaning that material is added in the exact shape of the part being made, layer by layer. I like to describe it like this. Traditionally, we have taken a positive space, like a chunk of material, and removed ma negative space out of it, removed material out of it using traditional machining practices to create our custom part. 3D printing is completely the other way around. We start with a negative space and add a custom positive space to it that requires no further machining. We can easily design a part using a 3D CAD software like SolidWorks, Blender, or AutoCAD, and then all we have to do is click print, and the part will just appear. It's like your fairy god maker. To use the MakerBot, first we must level the build plate. That essentially means that we're making sure that the extruder nozzle and the build plate are the right distance apart so that your print will be perfect. We're gonna start by grabbing a business card you don't need, maybe you don't like the person, or you know their contact information, I'm using my boss's, don't tell him. Um, and this will be our, essentially our, our test piece. Here on the MakerBot, we're gonna go into the main menu and I'm gonna go into Utilities and then Level Build Plate. And you're gonna see the nozzle move to its leveling location. Once it's done, it's gonna instruct you to tighten the three knobs under the build platform. And that's to make sure that it's far enough away so when the nozzle moves on top of your build plate, you won't cause any problems. So what you're going to do is take this business card and slide it under the extruder nozzle and just move it around gently. And then you're going to uh, loosen the screw until it catches and you can feel the nozzle on the top of the business card. So right there is when I felt it. So we're good. And I'm going to hit next. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna slide this business card and loosen this knob until I feel it. So there it is. All right, now we're gonna hit next. And do this once again. All right, so now the MakerBot is gonna go and send the extruder to various points on the build plate and you're just gonna check it to make sure that everything is good all across the plate. We're going to hit OK, and we're done. This is what MakerBot filament looks like. It's made out of a plastic called PLA. How it works is it's a long string of plastic that gets fed through a guide tube into the machine, which then melts it down and extrudes it to form your part. Before you start, make sure to unwrap the filament a couple times and rewrap it to make sure that you have no tangles. Snip the end off the filament to make sure the machine has a clean end to work with. To load the filament, simply place it on the holder, making sure that your filament string is on the right. Then we're going to take that filament and feed it into the guide tube and keep feeding it until it comes out the other end. Like that. It may take a couple of minutes for the MakerBot to heat its extruder, but once it's done, we're ready to go. So now holding onto the filament itself, we're going to push it into the hole and keep adding pressure until it catches. And eventually you'll start seeing filament looking like a noodle coming out of the bottom. It won't be the same color as your filament because it's still left over from whoever used the machine last. Eventually you'll see your color coming through. Now just remove any excess filament and throw it away. Once that's done, push the guide tube into the hole and you're ready to go. So for this demo, I'm going to download a file off of Thingiverse to test print. So today we're going to print the Love Sculpture in Philadelphia. So I'm going to click Download All Files, and then open that file right up. So now all I have to do is I'm going to go into Settings and check a few things. I do want a raft, so I'm going to keep raft checked. Um, I don't really need any supports, so no supports. If you have any overhanging parts on your print, that's when you need supports. And now all I have to do is click print. Binary solo. Come on, Sakura, lake my battery. Robo boogie. The humans are dead. 
once again without emotion. The, the humans, humans are dead, 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 dead. So obviously you'd want to let your part finish all the way, but in this particular case, I'm going to stop it early so that we can really look at the honeycomb pattern that MakerBot produces to fill in solid spaces to save you material. So now all that's left to do is to take the part off of the printer. I'm going to grab this spatula. Don't be afraid to really go at it. You're not going to do any harm. So you may remember that at the very beginning, we had the MakerBot put on a raft, and that is this outer edge here. So all we have to do now is break it off. Don't be afraid to really get aggressive with it or use tools. And voila. So this honeycomb pattern you see here is an option that we selected back in the settings. And that's essentially telling the printer that no, I don't want to fill all of this in if I have a solid part. I just want to create enough support that the printer can print the entire object and it looks solid from the outside. Honeycomb is the most efficient way to fill in a solid space and keep its structural integrity. So if you want to save yourself material or if you want to save weight, this is the way to do it. When you're done, be sure to put everything back where you found it and return your roll of filament. To unload the filament, we're going to go into Utilities, Change Filament, and then Unload. Unloading is very simple. First, we're going to pull the guide tube off and then gently ease the filament from the motor. Now we're ready to remove the filament. All right, so I'm just going to roll the filament back onto its roll and then remove it from the holder. And we're done. For the entirety of human history, we've had to make everything by hand. We've been chipping away at obsidian arrowheads and hammering out glowing steel. Obviously, there's been a progression since then. We didn't go from bows and arrows to 3D printing overnight, but consider this the wheel of modern engineering.